I remember the first time I had a powerful experience with the Holy Spirit. I was in the seventh grade. I was at a summer camp. And this was like in the mid 90s. So, you know, televangelists and stuff were on TV and I saw people falling out in the spirit, but I didn't really know if it was true or not. And, and healings and all that. My parents told me that it was true, but you can't really, you know, a lot of my friends made fun of it because they said they were just out, out after money. But then I was at this camp with all my friends and all the kids I knew from church. And all of a sudden I see starting my friends starting to fall over. And all of a sudden my friends are starting to speak in tongues. And all of a sudden the Holy Spirit starts touching on my heart about, you never have really committed your life to the Lord. But I've been going to church ever since I was little, little. So everybody thought that I had really already done that in my mind. So I didn't want people to think whatever I was afraid of people thinking. So the pastor was up there and I'm, I'm talking about, it was a powerful soaking time. People were getting slain in the spirit. People were getting healed. People were getting drunk in the spirit, laughing all crazy. It was insane, like nothing I had ever seen. And the, and the pastor stood up and said, there's still one more person that hasn't gave their heart to the Lord. And I'm in a camp about 200 people. So I think for sure, he can't be talking to me. Even though the Holy Spirit was like, you need to go up there. I, there's no way, there's, there's somebody else that's gonna go up there. No one went up there. He said, all right, we'll, we'll keep on worshiping. A couple songs went by, he went back up there again. He said, I know that God is telling me that there is one more person that's supposed to come forward and give their life to the Lord. In my mind, I'm thinking, there's no way he's talking about me. It can't be me. Someone else is going to go up there. There's 200 people here. Someone's going to go up. No one else went up. All right, we'll keep on worshiping, the pastor says. And they keep singing, and more people keep falling out, and people are speaking in tongues, and I'm singing all, seeing all sorts of crazy stuff. And the pastor came up a third time. And I still hesitated a little bit. But after 30 seconds of waiting, no one going up, I could not help but go up to the altar. And admitting and, and telling and talking to the person and I prayed and Jesus came into my life and I had felt a warmth and a joy that I had never felt. And that was my first encounter. And I know we could go around the room and people, all sorts of people have awesome, awesome stories. What, and you know what, how important that thought was? That thought stuck with me when I was strung out on heroin thinking about suicide. I wouldn't go through with it because I knew God was real because what happened in the seventh grade camp? Remember where God has brought you from. Remember where God met you at. 